Welcome to Van of Action, the van build series. We're taking our 2018 Dodge Promaster van and turn it into a family camper. And now we're on the road, so now we're also a van life series. Hopefully, whether you're building or living, you'll find something useful here. Take a look around. We love it when people leave us comments. Along the way, give us a like, a share, and a subscribe. Let's get started. Welcome, and thanks so much for coming in. This is a van life hack. You know, when we close our eyes and think about the van life we're going to be leading, we think ourselves, think see ourselves driving down mountain roads and boondocking in beautiful little valleys by a stream with the sun coming up in just the right place. And life is so peaceful. Day after day of just doing what you want to do and going where you want to go and seeing what you want to see. But sometimes life gets in the way. And that happened to us last summer and you have to make adjustments. And we found ourselves in Ontario, Canada, and we live in British Columbia, which is where I am now. It's about 4,000 kilometers apart from each other. And we were in Ontario having a really good time and suddenly we found, our, we found a need to be back here and there wasn't time to drive. So we had to park our van and then get on a plane and fly home to take care of business. It could be business, it could be a family sickness, it could be, who knows what it could be, it could be anything. And to now that's all taken care of and we're getting ready to fly back home again. And this is when, this is the hack, you know, we're gonna be, because of circumstances, we're going to be taking the red eye. We'll be flying all night with a layover in Vancouver and it's going to be, we'll be on, on the plane or in airports for quite some time. And so this is when these things come in handy. We've all seen them. These are these, the, the travel pillows that people have. So they do them up and when they're on the plane, they fall asleep and, they don't end up with a really sore neck or they don't lean forward and get drool all over their shirts, you know. And these are really handy when you need them. It's one of those things that, you know, they're great when you want them. But what do you do with them when you're not using them? You know, it looks like a hemorrhoid cushion, doesn't it? Great for the four or five hours you're on the plane. But what about the other 850 million hours you're not going to use the darn thing? Well, when I was working, I traveled a fair bit, and I used to see people with these in the airplane, all, uh, in the airports all the time, and I thought, that's pretty cool, but I don't want to have to, I'll lose it. I'll buy one once, and I'll lose it before I need it again. But then, I came up with an idea. I want to share it with you. What you do is you go to, to a travel store, or a, any kind of a store, really, you look for one of these guys, buy the cheapest one you can get. The only critical part of it is, hopefully you can see this, it has to have a zipper. What you do is you buy it, you take it home, unzip it, and take the cushion out of this little pillowcase here. And discard it. No value at all. Then what you do is you take your Patagonia jacket. And these are just beautiful jackets for van life. I would recommend these. They're expensive, but they're really light. They take up next to no space at all. They're made to fold and to roll right back into their own pocket. So they take up very little space and they're really, really cozy. But now if you're traveling, rather than put this in its pocket and put it in the suitcase to take up space and they're too warm to be wearing in an airplane for very long, you take the Patagonia jacket and you stuff it into the, your, your pillowcase. You put one arm in this side. And this is really great because, you know, as I say, I would, I would lose that pillow. If I had a pillow like that, I would use it once and I would lose it. But with these guys, what I do is I can take it. When I get to where I'm going, I take the jacket back out of this pillowcase. I put the pillowcase in my suitcase. And the next time I'm going someplace, I get my suitcase. They're harder to lose. I get my suitcase out and it's got the pillowcase already built into it. In fact, this is the first time I've done this probably in... I know, we went to Europe about six years ago, I guess. And it's just a wonderful idea. You can't see what I'm doing. All I'm doing is just jamming it in. And once you've got it all in, you very, very carefully do the zipper back up again. So these things are, you gotta be a little bit careful because the zippers are not heavy duty zippers. So do up that zipper and then wiggle it around a bit. And Next thing you know, you've got yourself a beautiful, luxurious, comfortable neck pillow. Keep you comfortable all night. Keep your shirt nice and clean. When you get to where you're going, you just put it back in your suitcase. Life's good. Remember, you saw it here first. Van life is so much fun. We can't wait to get back in our van. 
but this is this is gonna be good so thanks for watching if you'd like to watch a vanville video watch one of these other ones give us a like a share and a subscribe and we'll see y'all later